Greetings, my child. I'm Katie from The Practical Escapist. I'm so glad you could join me here tonight. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time here with me, so I will not hold off on the snail pie for tonight. Today, we're making a pacifist snail pie inspired by Toriel from Undertale. This is the savory version. Please join me. Begin by greasing a pie plate with some coconut oil. Next, we're going to roll out our pie crust. We're only going to need one layer of crust. Once your crust is all rolled out, place it into your greased pie tin. Trim off any excess dough. And then set aside for now. Sort through and rinse one cup of French lentils and then add two and a half cups of water. Add a bit of salt and put on high heat. We're gonna boil it for about 25 minutes or until the lentils are nice and tender. Now would be an excellent time to also begin your fiddleheads. I'm not going to show you how to make them today. However, if you want to see an adorable young idiot make fiddleheads and show you how to prepare them, there's a link in the description down below. Next up, we're gonna prepare our vegetables. So we have some button mushrooms here, one package of button mushrooms, eight ounces. We have two shallots and we have five cloves of garlic as well. We're going to rinse off our mushrooms and we're going to be cooking them whole then we're and our shallots. We're going to dice our garlic. We are going to be using the full mushroom, however, we want the stems to be nice and short, so trim off the stems. You can still have some stem, but make them as short as possible. Once your lentils have finished cooking, you can remove them from the heat and set them aside. Heat up your skillet so that it's nice and hot. And then once it's hot enough, put a tablespoon of butter replacement on there to melt. Once your fake butter is starting to bubble like this, you can add your shallots and your garlic. together. While that's cooking, get some nice French wine, open it up, and get ready to add it to this mixture. After they've been cooking together for a few minutes, you can add your mushrooms. Make sure to stir frequently so it doesn't burn. Turn down the heat slightly. And now we're going to add some wine. Let everything cook together for a few minutes. And also add a teaspoon of parsley. Stir together. Everything should be smelling pretty amazing right about now. If you don't have fresh parsley, dried parsley will do fine. Allow to cook together until nice and soft. This is now a good time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Make sure to turn over your mushrooms periodically so that they cook evenly as well. Once your mushrooms and the sauce are starting to look like this, you can season to taste with some salt and a little bit of pepper. You don't need too much pepper because the French lentils already have a nice kind of peppery flavor to them to begin with. But to balance the flavor too, you can add just a tiny, tiny amount of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed is best. 
But this is fine too. Give it a nice stir. Now comes the time that we combine our lentils with our mushroom mixture. Place them together in a bowl. Pour in the mushrooms, juices, and all. Now is a good time to take one final taste test and make sure that you have enough seasonings. Next, take some capers and put them in. If some of the juice gets in, that's fine. Stir well. If your mixture is too dry, you can add a bit of oil. This is about the consistency we want right here. Next, we're going to take our beautiful prepared pie crust from before, and we're going to pour our mixture right in there. We'll smooth it down and make sure that everything is nice and even. Next, we're going to take our fiddleheads, which we have prepared, and we're going to place them onto the top to make a nice, cute, swirly little snail pie top. Now that we have all of our fiddleheads on top, we can dock the sides with a fork. Then we're gonna brush the top with some oil. Brush the entire top with the oil. Once the top of your pie has been generously brushed with oil, it's time to put it in the oven. about 35 minutes you can take it out of the oven and let it cool. The crust should be nice and crisp along the outside. Let it cool off and set for a little bit before slicing into it. Now that it's nice and cool we're going to cut into it. Now that it's nice and cool we're going to cut into it and take a bite. Here on the east coast of Canada, it is fiddlehead season at long last. So we're using that in place of snails, as well as mushrooms, and also lentils. So please enjoy this snail pie. Share it with your family, share it with your children, and share it with everyone you love. And I will see you next month for our sweet version of this pie. Thank you. Let's try that again. Fancy, what are you doing? My cat's being weird. She's watching me from the stairwell and just howling at me for no apparent reason. Fancy, what you doing? Are you being creepy? Are you being creepy? Are you being creepy? She's being creepy. At this stage, you should also preheat your oven to 350... Try that again in a second once we've rediscovered how our tongue works. Come on. Make sure you know how to turn over your mushrooms periodically so they know how to cook. <laughs> Idiot. Come on. A little bit. dropping stuff tonight. Hey, Mr. He. Aw, oh, hey, buddy. Good boy. Let's try that again, huh? Should we try again? 
first we're going to take out this, and then we're going to film that part again. <laughs> la la la. If you make a little mess, that's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs>